Hello. This is how you can get 120 hertz in game snaps that don't natively support it yet. Enough chit chat, let's get into it. Quick disclaimer this only works on the Oculus Quest 2 with the V28 update. If you don't have the V28 update, you can sideload it. Go check out Mystical's video on how to do this, I will leave a link in the description. Now that's out of the way, let's get into it. Step 1 and Enable Developer Mode. I can't show you up because I've already enabled this already. I will leave a link in the description of some guy's video on how to do it. Once developer is enabled, it's time for step 2. Step 2. Install Oculus ADB drivers. Go to the site I leave in the description with ADB drivers. Um, you'll see the download link. All you need to do is agree to the terms of service and press download and wait for it to download. Once it's downloaded, open it with WinRAR or 7-zip something you can extract it with, and extract the file to your desktop. Once extracted, go into the files until you see winusb.inf. Right click it and press install. Step 3. Install SideQuest. Go to the link I leave in the description and download the right one for your computer, Windows, Mac or Linux. Once you hit the download button, just wait for it to download. It shouldn't take too long, I don't think. Make sure to press the keep button, as this is not harmful, it isn't a virus at all. Once the setup opens, just follow the steps through to install, and there you go, you've got it installed, well done. Step 4. Power on and plug in your quest to your PC. Now, you just hold the power button to turn it on, as per usual, I think you know how to turn it on. Obviously plug it into a USB port on your computer, and plug the USB back into your OS. Step 5, create the .bat file. You want to right click on your desktop and create a new text document. Once created, name it to whatever you like, 120Hz on Quest or whatever. After that, just open up the file. Once the file's open, copy and paste the command line in that I'll leave in the description for you to use. After that, just hit save and it should be done. Oh, wait, no, we're not done. We've got to change it to a path file. Right click it and hit rename. After that, delete the .txt and put .bat, all in lowercase. Step 6 from the bat file. Simple, just double click the bat file on your desktop and there you go. That's it, you're all set, 120 hertz on Quest. You need to revert back, just restart your headset, and there you go. Now let's get into some benchmarks. I was testing a wide range of games on Quest 2 and seeing how each one performs, and talking about how it performs. I split the section up into individual games with timestamps that should appear at the bottom on the little thing. First game, Beat Saber. So with Beat Saber, in this gameplay I'm playing Into the Dream part of the new OST4. Remove the music so you can hear me speaking. Um, I was expecting to have heavy frame drops everywhere. It ran perfectly. I played other songs, I turned the breeze on as well. Still no frame drops, ran absolutely smooth as hell. The experience was absolutely amazing. I'm so glad Oculus are finally implementing this. They said a warning about temperatures and stuff. I The Quest 2, or well, my Quest 2, when I'm playing 120Hz, was ice cold as always. No no heat at all except for that little LED on the front, but that was it. Battery life has obviously decreased, but not as bad as you think. I started, I played for about 30 minutes, on, I started on 71%, and at the end of those 30 minutes I was on about 50%, so not too bad at all. Obviously a way to solve this is to pick up a power bank, um, that's what I'll be doing soon hopefully. But yeah, Beats Over 120 hertz ran absolutely perfectly, no frame drops, nothing. Perfect and it looks smooth as hell. Next game we're going to talk about is Pistol Whip. I love this game. Now Pistol Whip is like Beat Saber. I wasn't expecting to hit no more than 90. No, perfect 120 frames per second. Didn't drop at all and it really adds to the immersion. I will be posting Pistol Whip eventually on the channel. 
Next game will be Pavel Shack, and this one's an interesting one. Now this game really surprised me, because I was under the impression that this couldn't hit past 90. I was under the impression this was a really heavy game. No, 120 frames per second, smooth as hell, as always. It actually made me feel like I was there. Like, the, 100, the 120 hertz really helped with immersion, and it actually scared me when there was gunshots. It felt so real. Can I just add in that uh, none of these games are actually optimised for 120 hertz. So these are still optimised for 90 hertz, and they're running 120 hertz fine. I thought that the small games would only get it, and not all the games. So yeah, definitely worth doing. That's all from Pavel. There's nothing more to really say. Um, if you're considering doing it, do it. It looks absolutely amazing. Feels absolutely amazing. Yeah, that's it. Next game we'll be talking about is the other shooter, Onward, and this one is very interesting. Now again, I thought this was a really heavy game, and I thought it would really push the quest to its limits. And that's not the case at all. 120 frames per second, absolutely perfect. You could argue that I only sat in the shooting range, and yes I only did, because I had no internet, but still, even if it is just a shooting range, that's absolutely amazing. I uh, threw a grenade at one point and it didn't cause any lag at all. It was absolutely perfect. But yeah, that's mostly it for Onward. It looks great, it runs great. Um, do I prefer it to Pavel? Not at all. Pavel is the ultimate shooter, I, in my opinion. But yeah, that's all there is to say, really. Next game we'll be looking at is Gorilla Tag. Now, I love this game. Now, I remember on the first version of Gorilla Tag, I tried 90Hz mode in SideQuest. I enabled it. And it didn't reach anything above 72 hertz. Never. Now this time it's different. I I was expecting nothing above 72 hertz. I tried 120 hertz. Perfect. Seamless. No frame drops. No nothing. It was absolutely amazing. I've never felt so monkey in my life. But yeah, if you're thinking about 120 hertz gorilla tag, yes, do it. It is absolutely amazing. It makes you feel like a monkey more, and that's obviously you need you need monkey. Reject Humanity, Return to Monkey. Next game we're going to talk about is Job Simulator, and this one is absolutely hilarious. Job Simulator, like the others, ran absolutely seamlessly. 120 frames a second, no drops at all. Um, it really adds to the immersion in this one. You really feel like you're there. Throwing a cup at Karen over the desk, and it's never felt more realistic. Never felt like you're actually doing it. And, uh, well, eating donuts and drinking coffee, obviously never felt more realistic. None of these games have been downgraded visually at all, that's another thing to mention. They said they would do that, but none of them have been and they run perfectly. So that's basically it for Job Simulator and we're on to the next one. Now this game is a perfect game, it's called Population 1 and yeah, enjoy it. Now this game absolutely shocked me. I was shocked when I saw the results of this. I shouldn't have been because every other game has performed the exact same. But basically, 120 frames per second, absolutely perfect. No frame drops, no nothing. And all you see all these YouTubers saying how, well, assuming that the Quest 2 will only get 120Hz support for some games, that's the least demanding ones. I say this is the most demanding game on the Quest, and it was still run it perfectly. It's just how much we underestimate it. Don't judge the gameplay, I am terrible at the game, I barely played it. I should play it more, I should release some videos for the channel of it, it is an absolutely amazing game. If you'd like to see some um, more videos on Population 1, leave a like and maybe a comment, I don't know. But yeah, um, the developers should add support for this game, 420Hz, because it absolutely runs perfect. And yeah, that's all for Population 1. This leads me on to the final game, and this game is super hot. It is a perfect game as well. This game is such a good workout. If you ever need a workout in VR and you ever want to sweat, it just loads up some super hot, you'll see what I mean. Um, as expected with a game with potato graphics, it runs perfectly. On no frame drops, nothing, I keep saying that. But if you if the developers uh, ever consider adding 120Hz, uh, do it. It really added to the immersion. I've never felt more awesome 
cracking my back trying to do Leo from the Matrix. Uh, yeah, that's it from Super Hot. It runs perfectly, really immersive. The graphics are beautiful, even though I said they were potato like five seconds ago. <laughs> um, yeah, let's move on to the next subject. This last subject is just going to be my thoughts on 120Hz and just stuff. <laughs> So overall, I'd say 120Hz is a major sort of feature, and it's definitely a good feature at that. It makes the Quest so much more better to use, it looks so, so much smoother. This is a £300 headset we're talking about, and it's got, I'd say, better specs than the Valve Index. Obviously it has its downsides, like the strap and stuff, but you need to make compromises somewhere, and they're obviously replaceable still. I'd give this update a solid 9 out of 10. It, it was an amazing update. Credit to the team at Oculus for making it like, jeez guys, and you, it's a three hundred pound headset and like they're dominating the market for headsets right now. So, cheers to them. Who knows? Maybe this HTC headset will be better for better price. Who knows? But that's all from me, my friends. I hope you enjoyed the video. I spent a lot of time making it, and um, I guess I'll see you in the next one. I hope you have an amazing day. Thank you for watching. Bye.